the meanings, okay? It is the evil desire that lives in your heart. That's the title. The book of James 1 talks about the fact that our own sin is as a result of our evil desire. When it matures, then it turns into sin. It's not God that is tempting us or the other party. It's our evil desires. When you desire evil in your heart and are faced with opportunity to sin, you will definitely fall down for mixing sin. Most of the sins that are perpetrated in the world today, though I'm not justifying or advocating that women should wear many skirts or not, most of the sins are committed because lodged in our heart, as is found in First James, is evil desires that leads people to sin. In the days of our forefathers, people were walking naked for God's sake, but because in their heart was not evil thoughts and desires, they were not sleeping with each other one another rather as animals if the desire of your heart is evil you will at the slightest opportunity to commit evil commit evil don't blame the minister but do something about changing your mind it is when we have control the evil desire that we have in our heart that we can control a lot of the sins that have been perpetrated by us. Until you desire certain things, you will not go out of the way to steal it at the slightest opportunity. Until you desire a woman so badly, you won't go out of your way to commit adultery with her. It's a mind thing. So do something about having good desire. And I suggest and push for desiring Jesus when we're filled and full of the desire for Jesus Christ. Nothing can get us to sin. Even when we live with demons, they won't get us to sin. Father God Almighty, thank you for realizing, getting us to realize that uh, we have to walk with you, submitting ourselves to you. To make it ourselves to you, we have to work on our mind, we have to work on our desire in order for us not to fall into sin. Which, if we do, we will severely pay for it if we do not repent. Sin is not, it, it's when you have the devil in you, when the devil is in your mind, that you fall to. God Almighty, devise, destroy away, remove the Creator and the Father of evil desires from our mind. May we not align with Him in the fight to deliver ourselves through Christ Jesus from sin. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen.